Hi everyone. I want to talk about setting realistic fitness goals. You know, I'm in the gym all the time and you see all kinds of people in there, all shapes and sizes and ages. And it just, I, I just love being in the gym, but I, I want you all to be realistic about setting your goals because um, a lot of these fitness influencers, um, celebrities, um, professional athletes, they have bodies. These are unique people. And a lot of these celebrities and fitness, and they don't even look like they look in these pictures. They're probably doctoring up the pictures and uh, uh, making them look like something they don't even look like. And, you know, there, there just aren't, there isn't people walking around at five or 6% body fat. Do people get down there? Yes, but they don't stay there. It's not healthy. So you need to have realistic fitness goals that apply to being healthy and feeling better and being realistic. You know, when I first started working out, yeah, there was a vanity side to it. I wanted to look bigger. I wanted bigger arms. I wanted, you know, bigger legs. I wanted to be leaner. I wanted to look better. And that's okay. You know, I, I think, and I, not only is it okay, I think it's important for, for people to want to look better, but putting your goal at a unrealistic place is just setting yourself up for failure and discouragement. So your body wants to have some body fat on it. And look, our bodies have flaws, um, young, old, overweight, underweight, our bodies have flaws. We're not perfect, but we can always improve. Everyone can get better. And so keep that in mind. And when you go into the gym, think about um, building muscle, increasing your cardio strength. And when you do these things, you're going to feel better. Your joints are going to feel better. You're going to be more productive at work. You're going to be more productive in life. You're going to um, have more energy and you're just going to feel better. Your brain is going to work better. Everything works better when you exercise. So I'm not saying set, you know, the bar really, really low, but I am saying also don't set it too high. Um, Be realistic. And look, yeah, some people look phenomenal, but that's probably not even one out of a hundred people. So progress and, and monitor your own progress. Monitor your body fat. If you can get your body composition tested, uh, if you can do a body scan or somehow check and find out, you know, what your measurements are and uh, how much fat you have on your body. Now you can see if you're improving, how much lean body mass, how much muscle do you have on your body? Is that improving? You want to know that your lean mass is going up, the body fat is going down within reason. I mean, we all need some body fat, so you don't want to get too low. Find a way to measure your progress. Take measurements. If you have to use a scale and if you're working out at home, use a scale and do measurements. Measure your waist, measure your hips, measure your chest, measure your thighs, measure your arms and see what's happening. And don't be too hard on yourself and don't set your expectations too high. I just want to encourage you all not to let that hold you back or say, or don't think, oh, I've got way too far to go. I'm so big. It's not worth the effort because it's going to be way too much effort. It is worth the effort. A little bit of improvement will make a difference in your life. So get in the gym or get outside and exercise. Do it in your home. Start something, especially if you're older. Start doing it. I get frustrated because I'm a people watcher. I go to the grocery store. I go out to dinner with my wife and I'm analyzing people. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I'm being judgmental. I can't help it. But you can just tell that most people don't want to or don't put any effort into their health. And I think that's sad. I've been in the business and I want to encourage other people to um, 
put some emphasis on their health. So if you guys like um, interviews with personal trainers, doctors, nutritionists, we talk about supplements, subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'm a health club owner and we kind of try to keep you up to date on what's going on in, in the health club industry, in gyms in general. So subscribe to the channel, hit that uh, bell or that button to get notified when we put up new videos. And I will talk to you soon.